Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Lakshay Gautam and today we are going to discuss about Diode, Zener Diode and LED Character 6 Trainer Kit and its order code is 36363. Today we are going to discuss about its application, components and principle of working. So this is the Diode, Zener Diode and LED Character 6 Trainer Kit. In this you can see first is regulated power supply from 0 to 10 volt at 20 mA. Second, DC voltmeter 0 to 2 volts or 0 to 20 volts. Third, DC ammeter same as 0 to 20 micro ampere and 20 milli ampere. And lastly, we have three diodes. First one is silicon, third, uh, second germanium and third one is zener diode. And lastly, we have LED to check this. So our first experiment is to study and plot the forward and reverse bias characteristics of germanium semiconductor diode so firstly we have to make this connection as per lab manual so basically voltmeter is connected parallelly to DC power supply and ammeter is connected in series Now we have made the connections as per lab manual. First of all, we have to put the toggle switch as 2 volts and 20 mA. When we turn on the power supply, we have to increase the voltage across the diode in steps of 0.1 volts. So as you can see, the current is also increasing gradually. So this is the maximum current in the circuit at 1.9 volts. So that's the experiment in forward bias with germanium diode. Now we have to make the connection in reverse bias. For this we have to make the connection according to the lab manual. So the direction of germanium diode is reversed. Now we have to put the toggle switch at 20 volts and 20 micro ampere. So in also reverse bias by increasing the voltage across the diode in steps of 0.5 volts. the current is also increasing now at 1.5 volts the maximum or saturation current is obtained so that's the first experiment in which we have studied forward and reverse bias in germanium diode now let's come to second experiment to study plot the forward and reverse bias characteristics of silicon semiconductor diodes now first, first of all we have to make the connections of forward bias in silicon diode
and also we have to use 2 volt range at 20 milli ampere now when we turn on the power supply and increasing the voltage across the diode in steps of 0.1 volts the current is also increasing gradually so at 0.9 volts the value of current is maximum so that's all in forward bias now we have to make the connection in reverse bias also the direction of semiconductor diode is reversed Now we have to use 20 volt at 20 micro ampere. Now by increasing the voltage across the diodes in steps of 0.5 volts. So as you can see the current is not increasing because some silicon diodes are shows the current in reverse bias that's a leaky diode so whenever the good diode does not flow the current in the reverse bias so it concludes that the current in reverse bias is not increased So that's all in this second experiment. Now let's come to third experiment. Now in third experiment, we have to study and plot the forward and reverse bias character 6 of Zener diode. So we'll make the connection as per given diagram for forward bias. We have to use 2 volts and 20 milli ampere range. Now we have to increase the voltage supply in steps of 0.1 volt. So as you can see the current is increased at 0.6 volts. So we can say this is a breakdown voltage. And at 0.9 volts the maximum value of current is 1. And now let's come to reverse bias of Zener diode. We have to put the Zener diode in reverse direction.
Also note that we have to use 20 volt range and 20 micro ampere. Now when we slowly increase the voltage supply in steps of 0 0.5 volt, the current changes. Now as you can see the breakdown voltage is 6 volts such that the current is increasing gradually when we increase the voltage. And at the 7 volts the maximum saturation current is 1. So that's all in this experiment. Now let's come to fourth experiment, which is to study characteristics of light emitting diode in forward as well as in reverse bias. Now the fourth experiment is to study the characteristics of LED in forward characteristics. So we have to make the connection as per given diagram. For this we have to use 2 volt and 20 milli ampere range. Now when we increase the voltage at 0 0.1 volts, as you can see the LED is glowing and the intensity is increasing when we increase the vo voltage so that's all in this experiment so that's all demonstration from my side if you have any queries related to this trainer kit you can visit tesla global website the link is in the description for further inquiries you can go through the lab manual if you like this video Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.